Hey, 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 people. On this show, we're talking to Nehemiah Jones. I think that's how I said I was getting it wrong. My, my apologies if I pronounce it wrong. He's a great, he's a Christian hip hop artist. Hmm. Is there such a thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so in this episode, we'll talk about why he's doing what he's doing, how he's doing it. Great interview. We had a few technical problems, which, hmm, I don't know why that was. But anyway, we work around them. Thanks for listening to the show. If you're listening on podcasts, iTunes, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, or Mixcloud, please subscribe. Uh, show notes to any links we talk about in the uh, in the session should be on there. If not, drop us a line at contact at Dougie Stone Radio. Please go and check out the website and the radio station, which is DougieStoneRadio.com. Yeah, okay, before we get into the show, let's have a track from the artist so you can get the vibe of it. And it is called Ride That Wave. Got money, too much to hold. I am a Christian and I got control. I've been chilling for a while, now it's time to reload. Had the enemy man when I walked through the door. What up? I'm back on the grind, March Madness. I never had this. My vision to be rich. But first, I gotta put it all together. With God, is all better. I'm down to do whatever. Whatever. Mr. Nehemiah Jones, Bell's Gun Jang. I've been flying in the sky with wings like angels. I've been traveling all over. Witness to the world, cause I'm one of the king's souls. Yeah, it took a little while just to get it right, get it right. But being in the world, got a brother tie I've been speaking what I know, I don't want to fight nah. Yeah, they living in the dark, need to see the light uh, You better ride that way, that way. You better ride that way, you can save all day. all day You better ride that way, that way. Get them boys on the list and tell them boys go play you better ride that way, that way. You better ride that way, cause we save all day. all day. You better ride that way, you better ride that way. You better ride that way, like a disco train when they call your name. You it, see your life's in flames, and it ain't no game if you ain't gon' change. Lose it, uh. I'm on a mission right now. Mine is made up, I keep it pushing right now. Now the jokers wanna hate that it. it's a technical foul. If they wanna wild out, to Jehovah gon' grind. This is what it is, so they really need to stop. Uh, praise legendary, not you up and all hop. I got the Lord on my side, we get it poppin'. Now I'm on the west side, I got some new friends. Ain't nobody judging, we're up cousin. Music for the soul, friend of foes, now I'm buzzing. It's about showing love to everybody. And I'ma spread it to the world, that love is for free. You better ride that way, that way. You better ride that way, do the same all day, all day. You better ride that way, that way. Get them boys on the list and tell them boys go play. You better ride that way, that way. You better ride that way, do the same all day, all day. You better ride that way, you better ride that way. Better ride that way, like a disco train when they call your name. You it, see your life's in flames, and it ain't no game if you ain't gon' change. Lose 20 it. deep on the counter, chain it high like a sauna. Always running up on it, get swallowed up like a jumper. See, it gotta get better, that's what you said, bitch, you walk That's why I put my faith in God, don't depend on nobody. Hope I'm blessing somebody, that be harming body. Why? If you out here try to function, you talk to e You ain't better than me, I ain't better than you. You my brother in Christ, so I gotta love you. What are we gonna to do since we keeping it cool uh, uh, we can put the heat away and spread the word to the goon shine a 25 to life uh, take a trip to the moon the moon the vision of the star you better ride that way that way better ride that way to save all day all day you better ride that way that way get them boys on the list and tell them boys go play you better ride that way that way better ride that way to save all day all day you better ride that way you better ride that way yeah, so I uh, hope you enjoyed that, everyone. So, as we say, we've got a special guest on the uh, show today, and I'm going to let him introduce himself. So, uh, introduce yourself. Take it away. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Nehemiah Jones, all the way from Virginia. What's going on? Yeah. Now, it's, a, it's an interesting track. And what I liked about when you sent your, um, you when you sent the track through to me, and I th- what do you call you, you call yourself a... Uh, a gospel, a hip hop gospel singer, or I forget which way it is now. Which way around? What? What do you? How do you define yourself? A Christian hip hop. That's it. That's it. Christian hip hop. It's really good. It's really. It's a really good track. I really like that. Really upbeat as well. So, uh, so 
what got you into doing the hip hop? Is 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 it based around your beliefs and and that, or the, did the music come first? Or tell us a bit about that. Well, I used to be signed to Atlanta Records, and um, at the time I was, you know, out there doing secular music. Yep. And um, and I heard I heard something in my heart that was time time for change to start making music that will like get people to start doing things a little different instead of just going out there making music talking about killing downgrading mm. women you know then i had it when i had my daughter it really you know it had me open my eyes to realize that i don't want nobody calling my woman my, my daughter no b-i-t-c-h yeah or my mama or you know and i'm not out there killing nobody i'm not out there doing wrong i'm not out there robbing and stealing and selling drugs so I'm like, you know, I need to talk about things that I do. I like to help people. I'm a people person. You know, I just like making, I just like good music. Mm. That I, lo- I love to dance. I love to have fun. I love to enjoy life. So I started making music about glorifying God because God was about love and about enjoying life and, and living right. Yeah. No, I get that. I fully get that because that's the thing with the genre. I mean, uh, my... My son and a lot of other teenagers over in the UK really into the genre, the hip hop genre, and then, and I had a conversation with um, one of me, uh, someone else I know, because I, I I chair a scout, so I get involved with the local community through scouting and things like that. I do, I do that, and and he says, "Oh, listen to my lad's song the other day." I won't even say the words because even I was like, "Oh my god, that's a bit." And he said, <laughs> "And she said this, and I did that, and when we did this, and I did this too," and I'm like. Yeah, it's a bit bad in it, and he went, "Yeah, I just don't get it." So, I think, I think there's a lot of rappers out there, a lot of guys uh, doing the in the genre, doing doing the cussing and doing the uh, putting down women, and you know, I've got the Glock and I'm shooting people up. I think there's a lot of there's an element of people doing it that that's not their reality. They're doing it because that's what they think they should be talking about, rather than um, what their life's about. And I like it when people, obviously, there is. There is artists out there that have actually had that background and that growing up, and it's their reality. Um, right. And that's fair. And that's fair enough to talk about because I believe music should be about a message, about changing people's lives, about entertaining, you know, making them happy, whatever. And I think it's, I think it's great what you're doing with your music, and that makes perfect sense because life changes, and as you, as you introduce uh, children into the scenario, you sort of step back and go, actually. What is it that I'm about? And what am I doing? And what am I bringing? What am I doing for my family in the long run? And um, I think it's good that you've chose chose to do it in that way. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty good. I love the music. I love the beat of it. It's good. That's cool, man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, I'm not. De- I'm not. De- I, I define myself as being a Christian. I'm not a very deeply religious person uh, 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 as such. So, but I, I, I like when I see people who get really passionate about what they believe in and what you know. If at the end of the day, if um, the, the whichever religion you look at, it's all about being te- treat. It's about good life values, isn't it? Like be treating people right and looking after your fellow man, and you know, not doing any wrong. So I think from uh, from life lessons, I think there's some there's some good le- lessons to be learned from it. So uh, and that's what you try to do with your music and, and your lessons and your and what you're singing about, I presume. Yes, sir. And you know what? Uh, it's it's funny that you said. That you're not really into religion. I'm not. In, I'm not even into religion. Mm-hmm. It's just my belief. I mm. believe. I believe in something. Yes. That that wants to 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 live right and do good. That's what, you know me believing in Jesus is believing that he wanted people to come together. He wanted people to love one another. He wanted people to be able to say, "Look, I respect my brother and sister." Like you know, people forgive. Mm. You know. Yes. So yes. His, his I agree. Is what caused me to want to to write the music, but and then for you not to be religious and you like the music, so that means that I'm doing my part. Mm. I mean, but I, yeah, it's it's a, it's a really strange one. I didn't, I didn't really want to get into a religious debate. At the end of the day, I believe there was someone called Jesus, whatever. What, you know what I mean? And uh, had good values, and 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 it all makes sense. It absolutely makes sense. Don't steal off people. Don't kill them. Don't sleep with your wife. Don't do, do, do you know what I mean? With your neighbor's wife. Don't yeah, whatever. Don't commit murder. It, it's good value, and I and I believe in that. And um, I think we live in a world that is too. Um, 
too dispersed everyone's against each other for whatever reason there's too much violence right. and and do you know what if if everybody and i try and get this over a lot of time if you can go out today and do something nice for somebody else if you i always say to people if you've got a skill or ability that someone else needs you can't do it all the time because everyone's got to eat and, and, and earn money but if there's someone in need that you can go and do something for them and it helps them along their journey. And then guess what? That person is going to go away and do something nice for someone else. And some, and it just goes like, causes this ripple effect. And I think we've got too many things bombarding us at the minute, uh, the media, political, and, or whatever, um, try to turn everyone against themselves. And I just think we're all here for one reason. We all want uh, a better life for us and our family and our children. We all want the same thing. And I think it's really sad right. that we live in a world which is still, after everything that's gone along in hundreds and thousands of years, that we're still in conflict with each other. It just doesn't. It doesn't make sense to me at all. It doesn't make uh, not at all one bit of sense. Why would? Why does someone want to kill someone because they believe in something different, or they've got a different culture, or they've got a different skin color, or what? Right. what why? It doesn't. It just doesn't make sense, does it? it, it it's crazy. <laughs> It's crazy. It doesn't make no sense at all, man. It's, you know, look, if I like red and you like green, like, why would I be mad at you because <laughs> you like green? That, that's your preference. No, no it's just, <laughs> it's just bonkers. And that, and that's, I like, and I like to connect with people. That's why I like to connect with you. Uh, they have got similar values and similar ways of thinking. And uh, I like to understand what's going on in the world. And that's why the podcast People listen to the radio show, listen to the podcast, and hopefully it gets a, enlightens a few people to what what could be, you know, what we could achieve. And I mean, John Lennon, John Lennon's dead now, and obviously, and um, his his classic song, uh, Imagine, and it still still rings true now, even though, you know, like forty, fifty years ago since he written it, and it's just it's crazy, absolutely crazy. So yeah, right. bonkers, bonkers. So. <clears throat> What's your plans going forward? Are you, are you, are you currently recording more music? Are you releasing more tracks? Yes, 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 man. Um, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, I have a new album dropping January 2nd, 2019. Um, it will be released called Do It God's Way. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just making dope music, man, that can really, like, you know, keep people grooving, man, you know, speak some truth. And be able to like bring bring you know bring the light to dark bring the light to darkness, man. Mm. You know. Yeah, I do. So, you, have you recorded it already? Is it all in production and ready to go, or are you still doing that, still producing it? No, everything is done. I, I'm, the album is done, man. I'm right now. I'm starting to work on a new project. You know, I just like to stay ahead of the game, man. So once this project drop, uh, we be ready to rock and roll with the next thing right after. Brilliant. So, are you currently? Do you do any tour? Do you do any live gigs, or are you live touring, or doing any live gigs at any venues or anything? Oh, I love touring, man. I, that's that. You know what? To be honest with you, that's like kind of like my favorite part of being in the music industry is being able to like travel, and I love being on stage. That mm. is like my passion is being able to control the crowd. And, and let them feel exactly my emotions and what 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 bothers me, what makes me happy. I get I get to be able to engage with the people, yeah, and just show them why I love music. Yeah, I, it's it. I do I do a lot of public speaking as well, and obviously I, I love to perform. I love to be centre of and I like to. I love doing podcasts, but I also love doing live radio, and I love going to events and doing things with people there. And, and I know exactly what I mean. Some people, it's their worst nightmare to actually stand up in front of a crowd of people. Um, I think that comes a lot from programming from being kids. But I think there's there's no better feeling for me than getting a reaction from a crowd. And uh, when they're listening to, like, you're singing, if when I'm talking, listen to me uh, speaking, and more more fundamentally than that, if it actually changes their thought process and they go off and do something else, I think it's just, it's wonderful. And if uh, anyone that's ever done it and, and gets it will, will, will understand why people want to be on their live. And, uh, yeah, it's it's really interesting um, feeling. It's a really great feeling. Yes, sir. Do they accept well, you singing the your hip hop songs in church? Yo, yeah, well, you know, to be honest with you, yeah, that's the way it started. At. Mm. I started like you know when I started doing um, Christian hip hop. Um, I started my first show, my first um, show was at a church, 
Um, I, I, I done, you know, was able to perform all over the place. Uh, I don't know, you ever been to New York before? I've been to New York once a couple of years ago. Absolutely adored it. I definitely want to go again. You ever heard of the Jacob Javits Center? Uh, not off the top of my head, no, but he's probably massive over there, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, it's a really huge, huge, huge um, place where they have, like, mega, mega, mega celebrity events. Right. You know, I had at the uh, Circle of Sisters event, that was 10,000 people. Uh, I performed there uh, with Yolanda Adams. Wow. Um, I don't know if you heard of Yolanda Adams. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just, yeah. that's really amazing. Go on. Yeah, carry on, sorry. Yeah, yeah. you ever heard of um, a King's Dominion? That's in Virginia, that big um, park that's like Great Adventures and stuff like that? Right, yeah, go on, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I performed there. I performed all over the place, man, to be honest with you. So I have this on really major, major things, and I thank God for it, that I was able to have the opportunity to be able to, to share this hip-hop with people you know so it's been a blessing yeah i think at the end at the end of the day if you've got a, a dream or a passion uh the universe tends to, to supply uh the, the 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 solution for you don't know whether you whether you whether you're thinking that higher being or the universe and everything like we we i'm trying to achieve something and i think when you have that mindset and you, you've you can envisage where you want to go or what you're trying to do uh it sort of comes to you and for you to be go and sing in front of 10,000 people and go to different venues. It's just amazing. A lot of people will be like, how have you even even got there? And how have you even done that? You know, I'm struggling to, uh, you know, get a few hundred people to come to a club somewhere and listen, watch me speak, sing or whatever. Um, and I think it's, it's good that you've done that. How, how did you manage, how did you manage to get to that sort of venue to do that? A big crowd like that. What was that? Is that because you were with a, a record company or you did it off your own back with your producers or how the beyond? Well, to be honest with you, sir, that I, I just think about just connected to the right people. And that's, you know, I don't, I think this being connected, having friends and people believe in what you do, like you believe in what you do, and they, they saw that I would fit in what they was doing. So I got the call, like, yo, we would love for you to be a part of this and yep. be a part of that. And, it, and it, you know, that's how it happened. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're right, because if you, you've got to – a lot of people uh, want want things and want greatness or they want success but if they don't actually have that self belief deep down and 100% believe it's almost a blinkered uh, vision that, that they're going to succeed then the chances are that other people aren't going to see but when you show whatever, whatever it is you do whether you're a singer whether you're a plumber whether yeah, I don't know you want to talk to people you want to produce a rate whatever it is the, the passion is is toxic in it. It's, it's it's very people feel it and 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 want to be part of that. What you feel, I think that I think that really makes it. I think that makes a big difference to people. Are the successful people and the people who aren't successful is uh, you know other people gravitating towards your vision and your dream. Was that a question? Uh, <laughs> it was a question and a, and a statement, really, at the same time. I don't know what your views are on that. So, yeah, I think it was a bit of both, a bit of both, really. Well, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, man, it's just, you know, you like, you got to love what you do. And I believe when you love what you do, it will it will connect to people that love what they do and understand that, look, this person has a passion and a love for it. So I believe when you when you 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 embed that stuff in your heart, it kind of, it tends to like rub off on people to be mm. like, yo, for this guy to believe in what he's doing like that, like I love it. I love the fact that no matter what nobody thinks about him, nobody no matter what people feel, he continues to to dig in and keep doing what he do. I think it's an appropriate time to uh, listen to another track from the artist, and this is let's. Let's get it. So it's let's get it. Um, anyway, we'll be right back with the interview straight after this. Enjoy it, people. Hold up, sucker, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Everything but honey. Oh my god, I'm not again. I'm not again. When it comes to money, I'm a flipping like a gymnast. Plus, I got my trust in God because of him, it ain't no limit. Anything is possible. Sorry that I'm logical. Flip you like you dominate. Any mini money mo. On this bit organic, I'm official like I'm treaded joke. I'm loaded with the fire from the sky. This is in my soul. Mind over matter, wind, shit a shadow. I'm rolling with 
with Jehovah climbing up the ladder. Up the ladder. You could bet your bottom dollar, I'm collecting data. Yes. I'ma use the information like I'm running numbers. This is grown man talk, grown man talk. Getting better every year, a grown man sport. You've been hitting for a while, hold that thought. When you see me on the top, it ain't my fault. It's about to go down. Uh huh. It's about to go down. It goes ring, ring, ring me along. Flip it two times, third time is a charm. Let's get it. Hey, 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 hey. 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 It goes one for the kingdom, uh, two on my lab rat, three for the fathers in the world. That be all that. Be all Four, cause I gotta stand tall like I'm Big Shaq. Five, I'm alive and I'm well. What you call that? What you call that? Rolly on the wrist, be a millionaire. Yes. Blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, you can call it what you want, I don't really care. Really care. Praying that I go to hell, I'm already there. Uh -huh. Swing the haters to the left and get this money. Get this money. Everybody vanish when your water looking muddy. Uh -huh. Now it's looking clear, and I'm touring in your city. Never been around the world, but the people seem to know me. Whoa, whoa. That's called favor. I thank God. Yes. I've been doing this for years, and I work hard. Never did it for the fame, but your boy smart. Whoa. Whoever thought I have a head on the top chart. It's about to go down. Uh -huh. It's about to go down. It goes ring, ring, ring me along. Flip it two times, third time is a charm. Let's get it. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Hey, 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 Let's get it. Hey, 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 hey. Let's get it. Hey, 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 hey. Let's get it. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, what a great track. Brilliant. Anyway, let's get back on with the interview. So I think it just people just love your your passion and your love for what you do. So they just like, ah, I want to grab onto it and be a part of it. Yeah, I think it's run. I think a lot of great leaders uh, throughout time is the same sort of thing. They, they have this vision and dream of, of doing something and people just f follow, follow along because that's, you know, that's that's what they need. I, I think it's great. I think it, it's great to inspire people and, and uh, I like to see people being successful when they've got the passion and the drive and for you to be where currently where you are. I think it's great and um I I just see you going from strength to strength of what you what you're producing, and especially with you releasing a a new album. Um, I think that's good. So if you got if people wanted to look at you, if you got a back catalogue, if people wanted to go and find some of your music before that that album drops, or see what was before it, what else have you got? Have you got all the stuff out there online? Yes, 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 yes. Man, I got a, um, my my first album um, that is on um, iTunes. It's on Tidal. Yeah, it's on digital platform called um the good the bad the gospel um i got uh song singles out i got songs on um soundcloud and that's soundcloud um dot com slash n jones for christ that's the uh, letter n jones j-o-n-e-s the number four christ c-h-r-i-s-t yeah and they i got plenty of songs on soundcloud they oh. can go listen to involved with and really get to know who nehemiah jones is yeah i'm going to check some of those out and i'll and all the things you've talked about i'll tag them when this goes out on a podcast i'll tag that in there so if people are listening on itunes tuning radio spotify uh mix cloud go and check the show notes and go on and go and check his back catalog out and i'm glad you i'm glad you've spelled it out because i always find a lot of time when artists they create something and you think you start, start typing and you get it wrong especially i'm dyslexic as well so i'm like uh, right okay does it mean four or four or so that's great thanks for spelling it out that makes makes uh, makes, it, it makes it a lot easier for everyone that's, <laughs> right. that's great but I'm definitely uh, going to um, check check out your music and at the end of the interview I'm going to stick another track on from SoundCloud from uh, from uh, from your, from what you've got on there as well so, and people can check that out and go and, and go and see what you're all about so no it's really good really good stuff so is it what you up to is there anything you want to share with anyone is there anything we've not covered that you know you want people to really know or grasp what you're about because that, that's what these interviews are about is the person and what they're about and what they're trying to achieve well, man, basically what I really want to get out there to people is to let people know stop, to stop looking at people what their belief is and just just vibe to the music, you know, because what I believe in has nothing to do with 
was created. It's about just making good music and make people feel good. And, you know, try to try to stop the religion thing going on with people because, like, you got to just be able to embrace that music is music and everybody has their own belief. You have people that like to talk about drugs. You have people that just have the different things and different views. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our lifestyle, you know, my lifestyle shouldn't dictate who I am as a person, but it should dictate that the fact that, listen, he's making good music that can make you vibe and put you somewhere to make you want to change for the better. Yeah, definitely. And I think music does that. I've interviewed a few people. I think I interviewed someone the other week and it was the same sort of thing. And I said to him, I love, I love all kinds of music if it's good. Um, and even to the point where I listen to some Bangra music, which I don't even understand a single word they're saying, but the beat and the music, and you go, yeah, I like this. This is, do you know what I mean? It's like not even my music. It's just, but it's, it, you can, I think music, or I don't think I know, music transcends everyone across the planet because I don't know what it is about us human beings, but the beat, a beat, a rhythm, the voice, regardless whether you can understand what they're saying and singing about, I think it just does something to us internally. And I don't, I don't know why, but music just, it just connects people, doesn't it? Connects, it connects everybody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And I think it's great what you're doing. And yeah, like, like I say, I've gone, I know I'm repeating what we're saying earlier on, but the fact that you're doing something that uh, is not about cussing, it's not about drugs and shooting and, uh, I think that's great. It's another flip side to see that you can actually produce a quality track that doesn't have all those elements in, but still says something. And I think that's pretty. I think that's pretty cool what you're doing because you could quite easily start dropping um, words in there that you don't want to use or talk about stuff or dissing people. They want to keep up on what I'm doing about tour dates and new music coming out. Yep. And videos that's about to drop, they can follow me on um, Instagram, and that's at N Jones for Christ. That's the same, um, yeah, the way I spelled it out the last time. That's the letter yeah. N Jones, J O N E S, the number four Christ, C H R I S T. Yeah. And they can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, everything is the same. So start following me, man, on this journey, so y'all can see the real, the real Nehemiah Jones and what I'm, what I'm about. You can hear a lot of songs and a lot of tracks, and I think if once you get to know the individual behind the music and why they're doing what they're doing, I think it totally changes your aspect or your view on the music they're producing because you go, ah, I get this guy, why he's producing that and why he's singing about that and why he's called that. And I think it makes a big difference to people. So I urge people to <clears throat> connect. If you if you find an artist, wh- whichever artist it is, go and connect with them, follow them on Instagram and Facebook and wherever, Twitter, and find out what they're doing and, and really connect with them. And uh, it that's what the station's about and the podcast is about, it's about, bringing people together across the planet not just in one location and just understanding what other people are doing out there now and how they've become successful in in their journey and you've been come from what we've talked about being successful in standing by what you believe talking about that and uh, being very passionate about it. and i think that's a real good lesson for everyone to learn is whatever you want to do just go for it if it feels right to you in your heart then just 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 carry on with it because it, it's going to work out you he got that right my brother mm. and i truly appreciate you yeah i appreciate you i appreciate you giving me your time and um uh, i'm looking forward to your album coming out when that album does drop please like please uh, give us a nudge and send us a link to it and we'll promote it and if you also if you if people out there listening to dougie stone radio then you'll find the tracks uh, as they come out on the station uh, and also on my hip hop show. Unfortunately, my urban show is a bit explicit, but you'll get the odd bit of sanity from uh, N. Jones for Christ because I play some of his tracks on there. So you can have a bit, <laughs> a bit of nice stuff on there instead of all the cussing. But yeah, I've got to play what's out there, haven't I? But all I'll say to you is you have a great day and you too, uh, sir. I hope to see you soon. Yes. Su- success in everything you're doing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can't wait to come out there, man. And definitely I can come on the show so we can see each other physically. 
Oh yeah, definitely that. Well, I definitely do that. We've got some. We're making some moves over here at the minute with uh, some venues and some promoters to see what we can do because uh, we obviously try to get a base going in the UK, and then there's lots of artists that want to come and visit and and do some shows, which I think would be absolutely knockout. And yeah, that's a cut a section out there because all sorts of things were happening. If microphone went, the station started playing. It was bizarre. Anyway, listen to what he says. That's yeah. how the, you see. That's how the enemy works, man. <laughs> yeah. Want things to go bad, so you know you're having a good interview. I, I don't play that stuff no mind. You know that's why they <laughs> edit everything at the end. So it's cool. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I'll leave the, I'll talk about this. Uh, what you don't know, people, is we've had lots of problems while we've been doing the interview. I've had the radio station start beaming in. I've had my microphone go off several times. Loads of stuff gone wrong. Whatever could have gone wrong, gone wrong. And uh, yeah, someone's trying to stop us. But you know what? No one's going to stop greatness. We carry on. We find there a way. You go, we there find a go. way around it. You throw as many, <laughs> you throw as many barriers as, 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 as you can at us. And we're going round it, man. We're going round it or under it or over it. I don't care because nothing's stopping me on my journey and nothing's stopping you. But yeah, like going back to what you were just saying, yeah, we're, we're talking with um, venues in the UK because the thing is, and this is this is quite crucial for a lot of guys in, in the States that want to come over, is if we put a show on for yourself and people don't know are not aware you are in the UK, then then that can be a bit of an issue. And it's the same if people travel to the States. So what we're, right. what we're looking to do is a similar. I've just interviewed a, a band called The Fuzz Honeys, which is on my podcast. They, right. they came over from Malta. Now, no one knows them in the UK, but they come over from Malta, but they've linked up with a band in the UK who have got quite a little bit of a following. And they've done they've just done a week-long uh, tour around various venues. So they both benefited from that. So that's, that's great. So that's what we're trying to do, and that's why I'm linked up with people in the States, in Malta, in the UK, is, well, what we need to do is, is, is talk with people with venues, who, what artists are on, and then try and link artists that complement those artists and say, hey, we've got a guy or a girl in the States or in Malta or wherever, which would work very well with this group. Can we, can, you know, can we introduce, can we bring along, can we do something with them? So that's what we're sort of working on in the background with a guy um, that, that I know as well. So we'll keep you informed of what happens with that and uh, it's going to be great to put something on in the near future. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. That's what's up. Right. Well, uh, thanks very much for joining us today on the podcast, and I wish you all the success in the future. And uh, thanks for giving us your time today to explain what you're doing, where you're going, and why you're doing it. Okay. No problem, man. Thank you so much, and I appreciate it. You're welcome. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you enjoyed that, people. Thanks for spending the time with me today. Go and check the artist out. If you're an artist and you want to get on the station, go to DougieStoneRadio.com or type in FreakingGlobal.com with one G and you'll find us. But go and check him out. End Jones for Christ. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you're listening on Mixcloud, uh, pod, uh, iTunes, tuning radio, all that sort of stuff, or podcasting, please subscribe. And if you've got any comments about the show, please contact us. Contact at DougieStoneRadio.com. Be nice to hear from you. Until next time, stay safe. I'm out of here. See ya! <laughs> Don't shout